Now with all of that, let's go ahead and first read and discuss 1 Corinthians chapter 12, where Paul is speaking about the gifts of the Holy Spirit. So starting in verse 4, let's read up to verse 11 and then we'll discuss. So starting off, there are different kinds of gifts, but the same Spirit distributes them. There are different kinds of service, but the same Lord. There are different kinds of working, but in all of them, in everyone, it is the same God at work. Now to each one, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for the common good. To one, there is given through the Spirit a message of wisdom. To another, a message of knowledge by means of the same Spirit. To another, faith by the same Spirit. To another, gifts of healing by that one Spirit. To another, miraculous powers. To another, prophecy. To another, distinguishing between spirits. To another, speaking in different kinds of tongues. And still, an other, the interpretation of tongues. Now, all, of, all of these are the work of one in the same Spirit. And he distributes them to each one just as he determines. So starting off with verses 4 through 6, here we have Paul speaking to the church of Corinth. And he is saying that it is the same Spirit of God that distributes through us the ability to carry out different kinds of gifts, services, and work. And before we discuss these gifts, it's important to rec recognize that the Scripture tells us it is the Holy Spirit who ultimately manifest these gifts through us and as people personally we cannot receive the glory because it is not by our works but the spirit within us we're just a willing vessel so the following verses from 7 to 11 paul briefly explains what these gifts are so the first gift was words of knowledge which is a supernatural ability to know what god is currently doing or intends to do in the life of another person. The second one was words of wisdom, which is the divine answer or solution to it for a sp specific situation. The third gift was faith, which you could look at as the ability to trust God with a level of confidence or certainty that is beyond that of other believers. The fourth gift was the gift of healing, and those whom the Holy Spirit manifests this gift through are, are empowered to heal a specific ailment supernaturally, oftentimes immediately. The fifth one, miraculous pa powers or performing miracles. Examples could include raising the dead or causing the blind to see or the deaf to hear or the lame to walk. We've all seen these uh, examples of these in scripture. Now the sixth one was prophecy or to speak forth or declare the divine will of God, to interpret the purpose of God, or to make known in any way the truth of God, which is designed to encourage and uplift the lives of others and not tear them down. The seventh spiritual gift that was mentioned is distinguishing between spirits, or you could say spiritual discernment. It's also very important to remember that we use this in a way of encouragement and again not tearing down other people and the eighth gift is speaking in tongues or which is also known as a prayer language this gift allows you to speak or pray in an unknown language which is designed to edify oneself who has the gift now I do want to say that this gift is real and it's not weird or it's not freaky Paul says in the first part of 1 Corinthians 14 5 I would like every one of you to speak in tongues. And there's more to that verse you would need to know, so be sure to check that out in its fuller context later. And in 1 Corinthians 14.2, Paul puts this plainly. He said, for, you, for if you have the ability to speak in tongues, you'll be speaking only to God, since people won't be able to understand you. You will be speaking by the power of the Spirit, which it will be all mysterious. So when we hear about these gifts, I encourage you not to be afraid because it is something that God wants us all 
to have. And the last gift Paul mentioned was the interpretation of tongues, which is just the ability to interpret what someone is saying who is speaking in tongues. Now, it is important to remember with the gift of tongues not to use it in a way that could cause confusion amongst other believers. That's why tongues and the, and the interpretation of tongues go hand in hand because it is important be, to have an interpretation in order for it to be used or stewarded properly among other believers. So those are some of the spiritual gifts mentioned throughout Scripture. And now when we look at these, one of the things they have in common is they're all meant to encourage and build up the body of believers, which will lead into the next topic of discussion of why these gifts are for today.